How's everybody doing? I'm playing Notorious. I'm super excited about this. I uh, I recorded a RPG in five minutes video about Notorious. As of the time of when I'm streaming this, it's not released yet, but it's going out on Thursday morning. So uh, you'll hear me gush about how cool I think this game is, and I wanted to play it. I wanted to play it, so I thought, let's just let's just stream it. Let's see what it, how it goes. And as I was trying to figure out how to stream it, I realized that Jason put together some unbelievable resources for playing this game on your computer and online with the generators that exist for it. So um, this is actually going to be way easier than I thought. I was trying to figure out how to get character sheets on the screen and rules, but we got everything we need. Um, if you're not familiar with what Notorious is, it's a solo RPG. You are bounty hunters in the intergalactic war. Thank you so much, Scarlet, for the follow. Um, it's As a solo RPG, it's a journaling game. So we are going to figure out who our bounty hunter is. We're going to figure out who our target is, what planet it's on, and then we're going to go through a process of exploration and going to destinations learning about the target, finding leads, and things like that. We'll see if we can play the whole session in one stream, um, or if we make this a two-parter, we'll find out. I'm so glad you're able to catch a stream. It's great to have you here. So, uh, I've got the, the page here up, but we're gonna just jump right into playing this game. So, I've got the book here for uh, a reference for myself for you know, playing the game itself. Uh, I'm not going to have the rules necessarily up on the screen. Uh, the very first thing that we need to do is figure out who we are. So we need to figure out who our nomad are. Here are the great pictures of all the... Um, here's all the great bounty hunters. And we're going to figure out which one of these we are. Oh, Miss the Beginning, what's this game about? It's a solo RPG about bounty hunters who are hunting targets in a setting that's very inspired by Star Wars. As a huge fan of Star Wars, I'm so into it. I'm very into it. Um, so let's figure out who we are. This is the Nomad Generator. Now this is, I've just opened it. So I'm not gonna use this. I'm gonna hit, I'm gonna hit the randomize button. And that's gonna tell us who we are as a character. And I'll go fill in the sheet based off of that. So let's figure out what we are. We are the Assassin. All right, so we are uh, the assassin, which I think is our, like, let's see here. That's our, we'll figure out the type of nomad we are, and you can choose a profile instead. We've been told we are the assassin. I like just using the generator rather than choosing it. All right, your unassuming nature and modest attire hide a killer instinct, honed through years of intense training. Cool, we're very cool. My, my name is... C Caper? Capper? Caper Vril. Caper Vril. You are Kamano, an amphibious species. Alright, I'm Capper. Cap Cap Capper? I'm gonna keep saying Capper even though I think it's Caper. Capper Vril. Capper. I'm gonna just make it Capper because that's gonna make it easier for me. I'm a what? Kimo Kimoan? Kamano. Kamano. I got the. Letters, right? Just got them in the wrong order. Kamano species, which is an amphibious species, I should say. Amphibious. That'll help me. Cinevaret says, I gifted this as a Christmas present to a friend as her first solo RPG. Haven't tried it myself. I, I, you know, this is my first time trying it. I'm super excited about it. All right, let's learn a little bit about Capper. My origin. I was employed by Red Moon Syndicate, which is one of the factions in the game. Yeah, I like to think that I'm a frog. I'm a frog man. I'm an assassin frog. I was employed by the Red Moon Syndicate until you angered their capricious leader. Okay. Great, I can just copy and paste that in. My scar? I lost three fingers on one hand in an altercation with the warrior of the Mystic Order. Mystic Order is the equivalent of the Jedi. So, I've got one... Ooh, those, that's real small. Lost three fingers to a Jedi. So one of my hands, I just got thumb and... Well, I don't know, I'm a frog. 
How many fingers or appendices does a frog have? Couldn't tell you. Trigger. I missed the crucial sniper shot when someone you loved was relying on me. Whoo! Missed crucial sniper shot. That's rough. Assassin Frog, his hops are like his blade. Deadly. Very deadly. Um, Alright, let's learn a little bit more about Capper. What's my personality? I'm calm. I'm calm. I'm fine. I feel fine. Choose one. What weakness are you trying to hide from others? Or what potent item is the source of your confidence? Hmm... I don't think Capper's got a potent item. I think Capper is definitely trying to hide. Hide behind his his weaknesses. Um, what weakness am I trying to hide from others? I think I've got a I've got a uh, a little bit of a shaky shaky hand now, like a shaky grip on my shot, and it's. It's not because of, like, I'm missing a bunch of fingers. I think it's every time I have to take a crucial shot now, I think I'm just, I, I get nervous. So I, I think my character doesn't like to do ranged combat if it's, if it's necessary. I think I would prefer to do melee, but we'll find out what I have. Loadout. Uh, all right, I've got a precision scope laser rifle. All right, I'm just going to copy that over. As my ranged weapon. Uh, and for melee, I have a concealed blade and martial arts training. The martial arts of a frog. Whatever that might be. Plus three attack and opponent has minus one defense. Yeah, see, that's what I'm all about. I'm going to just get in their face and just frog slap them. It's going to be great. And a concealed blade? Where is it? It's in my mouth. I use my frog tongue to shoot out the blade. Stab them like that. It only makes sense. My outfit is a hooded cowl, mysterious insignia, and padded armor. Uh, and I've got some I got some defense as a result of that. Great. Um, Alright, I've got that stuff. So I've made my nomad. I I know what my my character is all about. Take one frog. That's my that's me. Uh, I've got my profile all put together. Uh, I will show you the art of the assassin in the book, just so you can see. It is a frog, man. <laughs> so, that's me. I'm a frog, man. That worked out great. Um, Alright, so we've got the nomad set. We are now on to figuring out, I think, my, yeah, the contract. So the contract is who I'm out, you know, this is the sort of the stipulations of what, what I'm doing here. I know the target's name, species, personality, the planet they're on, the faction who po posted the bounty, and the reason for the bounty. We'll learn more as we play and discover things. All right, let's follow these steps to create a contract and determine your target. First things first, roll for their species. All right, I should probably figure that out. Okay, I'm gonna, uh, do I have a, this is for, characters there's some really cool generators i'm going to just double check to see if there is a target generator oh there is a target generator amazing here's our target oh it doesn't give us the name species and personality so we have to do that so actually we're going to come back to that uh all right let's figure out the species of our target so i'm going to have the i'm going to just be rolling it here uh in in the book and just telling you what we get Got a 10. They're a Valk. It's a bird. Oh my god. I'm fighting a bird. It's a bird. The target's name is Besk Pimas. <laughs> These are such Star Wars ass names. Uh, they're a bird. They're a Valk. It's a bird. Oh my god, I had to fight a bird. This goes against everything I believe in. This is this is hard for me. Roll for their personality. Considering how this detail would be posted on a bounty. Alright, let's roll for their personality. 
they are nervous. They're they're very nervous. This is a nervous bird. <laughs> Glove shit wants him dead. All right, we got a nervous bird. What do they worry is going to go wrong again? Or what small item do they carry to provide some comfort? They definitely have something on them. I don't think I know what it is. I think part of what they carry is going to be something that's relevant to the bounty. All right, got that. Let's figure out what planet they are from or where this is all taking place. So let's roll for our planet. We got a one. It's a frozen planet. We're on Utov. Utov. Frozen planet. It's real chilly. Um, we've got, let's see here, terrain is going to be things like Icy tundras, endless snow, untamed wilderness, destroyed vehicles, predominant species. Let's figure out what the predominant species is on this ice planet. It's the Onsiet. Who are the Onsiet? It could have been my people. My people were one of the options, but it wasn't. The Many-Eyed? Oh my god. What the fuck? The predominant species... Oh, there's different... That's right. There's competing factions as well. So there's, like, the... The factions that are going on. Oh, here it is. I'm supposed to do this. Humans. I see how I'm supposed to do this. Kamano, and then the Onset. Excellent. Those are our... Po so I think I'm going to be rolling on these to see which it is at a given time. The competing factions are the New Uprising. That's our Rebels. The challenging faction is going to be the Old Empire. The Empire. Uh, and then the minor faction is the Trade Alliance. Alright. Excellent. We've got ourselves a planet. Uh, we're going to be filling in some of these major destinations as we... Uh, when you reach a populated area, you'll roll in the destination table to find out where you arrived. And then we'll start filling in this stuff. Cool. We got the planet. Choose a faction that's present on the planet as the client. So who am I working for? Am I working for the Rebs, the Empire, or the Trade Alliance? New Uprising, Old Empire, Trade Alliance. What would my Frogman do? Hmm. I mean, I want to work for the Rebs. I'm going to say I work for the new Empire, or the new Uprising. Oops. New Uprising. Okay, I've got them. We've got the new Uprising. Choose one of the factions reasons for posting the bounty and now i gotta go check out those faction reasons those are 24. all right why has the new uprising hired me well there are a couple reasons the target killed the leader of a cell the target smuggled weapons the target helped to engineer and construct a devastating old empire super weapon Oh, 100%. This is a sneaky bird. They're nervous. They're nervous because they're responsible for war crimes. It's definitely... It's definitely... Uh, engineer... Uh, old Empire weapon. Alright. I think we've got our setup done. I think we have all the stuff that we need to set up our situation we have our contract we're going to learn more about our <laughs> ah yes war crimes um record all this done which means i think we are ready to rock and roll and get into the the play of the game so we've got our contract we know who we're hunting 
We know that we're going to this ice planet as for Prague, and there's a bird there. Uh, and now we are on the hunt, which is the actual playing of the game. So when you play Notorious, from my understanding, it's a loop between going to exploration and destinations. And so there are generators that I'm going to be using for resolving what the exploration is and any destinations that I might go to. So our very first thing that we're going to do is an exploration. So normally you would roll on the exploration table and complete the prompt and then it might have you go do some stuff, but um, we're not going to roll because we got the generators. Jason has made these fantastic tools, so we're just going to use these. So I'm going to click explore and I'm going to start my first endeavor onto this planet. So I've got my frog ship, I've landed, kind of a gross cave but it's a sheltered place, at least for now. I wonder what my frog ship looks like. Is it full of liquid? There's definitely a pond on my ship, I think, that I hang out in. It's a pond, not like a jacuzzi. It's a straight up pond. All right, let's explore. All right, result. There's no sign of your target, but something interrupts my hunt. Bummer. I find a new uprising starfighter half buried in the ground. The pilot is a local. Alive in the cockpit, but unconscious. It's all just casually... It's a very casually flooded ship. The pilot is local, is a local, and that, that's a key word to the game. Alive in the cockpit, but unconscious. Choose one. All right, well, these are my friends, or at least are the people I work with right now. Wake the pilot and try to speak to lose one favor. Oh, wait. What is my starting favor and notoriety and motivation? I think that's part of my kit as well, and I forgot to um, I forgot to note all of that. Yes, I forgot to set my my favor and motivation to two. These are going to be relevant for certain actions you can take with locals, and also notoriety is super important. This is how you get. Uh, you find the leads, you find your target. All right, so back to this. Wake them and try to speak, uh, which is an action, to lose one favor. Why is there a starfighter? Wake the pilot and try to speak to lose one favor. Why do I want to lose a favor? Why is there a starfighter battle happening in the skies about this planet? Or I can loot the ship and gain one motivation. I'm not like... I don't think I'm buddy buddies with the new Republic or whatever they're called. I think I'm, I'm here to like get paid. I'm here to get paid. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to just take their shit. I'm a mean frog. I think I'm a bad frog, not a good frog at least. Uh, so I'm going to take their stuff. I'm going to loot the ship and gain <laughs> motivation. Sorry. This is mine now. Thank you for the stuff. What does the crackling radio chatter reveal about the Starfighter battle? So there is a, a, a battle going about. I think what's going on, if we look at our planet here, right? We've got the controlling faction is the new uprising. So this is the a pilot from the controlling faction. So challenging faction is the Empire. And there's a minor faction that is the Trade Alliance. I think this is trade alliance nonsense. I think this is not like a prolonged giant siege that's going on in the sky. I think this is like a strange sudden appearance of the trade alliance. And this is like a rogue pilot. Like this is just like a, a cruiser that got knocked out of the sky. Like they were just doing laps around the planet. And then trade alliance showed up and they're up to some no good. And I think the trade alliance probably want our dude. He's, he's got valuable stuff. Okay, so we have finished our first exploration. We haven't gone to a, a place yet. We haven't gone to a destination. This is part of the exploration. Like, you have these events that happen. And then in the hunt, after you've done an exploration, you go and do a destination. So we're going to roll in the destinations table. Let me pull that up. I realize I don't have that one up. All right, I'm going to hit 
arrive just to make it fresh. I arrive at a small town run by locals. All right. I can speak with a local and then rest or barter for supplies to gain one motivation. Get a lot of motivation. Or the environment here has become more dangerous than usual. The locals gesture at you to seek shelter immediately. Choose one. Oh, there's a lot of stuff going on with this. Help the locals battle the elements to gain one notoriety but lose one favor. Ignore the locals and find your own makeshift shelter to gain one emotive. I think, I, I mean, I want notoriety. Notoriety is like the key to the game. So I think I'm going to do that. So I think something's going on here, right? Rather than just like chatting up the locals, I show up. This place is already a hellscape. It's a frozen nightmare zone. So it's become more dangerous than locals, the, than usual. So they they're like, get over here, the locals. Um... Help the locals battle the elements to gain one notoriety, but lose one favor. Uh, so I'm going to definitely help out the the locals. Let's figure out which of the species it is, because it could be humans, it could be my people, or it could be the eyeball people. So let's roll and see who they are. It's a five. It's the Ansia. It's the weird eyeball people. <laughs> the many-eyed. So these weird many-eyed beings... Kind of eyeball me. I see all their blinking eyes. I think there's a like a pretty protract protracted and horrible storm going through right now, and uh, they they wave me over. How do I put my skills to good use in helping them prepare? Well, I mean, we deal with weather all the time on my pond planet that I'm from. Uh, it's not an idyllic sort of place at all. I like to imagine that the frog planet is kind of marshy and uh it can it can get pretty nasty there so i think on top of that like we just have we have kind of some expertise in learning how to like navigate dangerous uh like waters and things like that and while this isn't water it's it's like almost feels like flooding with how much snow there's coming in so i'm helping them kind of like figure out how to brace their shelters for what feels like flooding because there's so much snow so I, I lose a favor in doing that, in helping these folks out, but I do gain a notoriety. That's going to be helpful when I'm looking for my lead in the future. So I help these many-eyed people out. I give them an old salute. Uh, let's see here. Once I've done that, I peace out. I'm out of here. Thanks, everybody. I go wandering back into the wastes. Uh, all right. Let us roll another exploration then. So this is, this right here will let you know kind of what I mean by why notoriety is so important. A lot of the time when you roll exploration, there's this prompt. If your notoriety is a certain level or higher, you find a lead, which is really important. Um, I don't have notoriety, notoriety four, I have one. So I'm going to do the otherwise here. A hostile, hostile. From the minor faction, the Trade Alliance has found your ship. Those motherfuckers. You can communicate through your ship speakers. All right, choose one. Try to speak with them to gain one favor. You lose one motivation if you fail. All right, do I want to speak to them? Try to threaten them to gain one notoriety. I lose one motivation if I... I'm definitely going to do that. I don't like the Trade Alliance. I don't know. I, I get bad vibes from them. And I think also because I saw my pilot friend... I've been knocked out of this guy by Trade Alliance. So I'm definitely not going to speak to them to become friends. I'm definitely going to threaten them. So threatening is a mechanic. Um, these are There are sort of these four reactions that you can take to a person depending on if they're hostile, if they're a local, if they're a lead and all of that. And there's a really cool grid here that I'll, I'll pull up. I'll show you on the screen here. Uh, I'll sort of the all the reactions and the possible things that you can do depending on those reactions so threaten you cannot threaten anybody in this game unless they're a hostile this person happens to be a hostile person so i get to threaten them um the other actions that you can take are things like speak attack and recruit uh but right now i am threatening this individual because get away from my ship you trade alliance motherfucker um so I can try to threaten hostiles to warn them off without resorting to violence or causing a scene. So I'm kind of like, you hear me crackle over the speaker here. I get to roll a die 
and then I get to add half of my notoriety rounded up in order to see if I succeed. I have immediately forgotten though what I actually need to roll in order to like accomplish a thing. Oh, I rolled two dice. That's right. I rolled two dice. One is my die and one is the challenge die. So I want my die to be higher than the challenge die. I get a little bit of bonus because I get to add half my notoriety rounded up. I've got one notoriety, so that, that rounds up to one. So I get to add one to my roll. I'm going to roll a blue die and a red die here. Blue will be me. Red will be the challenge die. The challenge is a four. I need to roll good. I rolled a three, which adding my one makes it equal. What happens when I equal? Uh, ba -ba -ba. If the result of the die is higher, it succeeds. Otherwise, it fails. Oh, a tie fails. Fuck. All right, my threatening does not work. Um, oh, and they're going to fight me. Now I have to fight this person. So not only... So I, I you know, I get on the, the speaker... And I think I just shout a bunch of frog expletives at this trade alliance person who has no idea what I'm saying. But they don't really care for it. Um, what do you tell them your ship does to strangers who are trying to mess with it? Uh, it? It eats them. A big protracted tongue comes out and eats them. Adds them to the pond. Uh, but I failed in that regard. So I lose one motivation. And I have to fight this person now. They're not as scary as you thought. The hostile starts to fight with you. Resolve the attack action and add one to the challenge die on the first roll. Oh, man. I have to fight this random trade alliance person? Frog Donald Duck speech is sadly really scary. So I think I'm... I'm, uh, I'm unfortunately at, like, range. Uh, which is not where I want to be, but that's okay. Uh, Nomad die. Add attack modifiers from your equipment, which for my range is plus four attack on my first roll. That's actually very good. Um, and any other assets I have. I don't have any assets right now. To challenge I add the attack modifier listed for your opponent, if any. There are none listed for this person. So, great. I get to just nuke this person i think uh let's roll their challenge die they get a two i get a three plus four which makes seven so i succeed uh i am going to destroy this person success against a hostile person i get to choose their fate do i gain one i do i spare them and i gain favor or do i kill them and gain one notoriety i'm gonna kill Obviously, I'm going to kill them. So, I sigh. Knowing that my bluff doesn't work. I line up the shot. My hand is shaky. It's not a clean shot at all. It's, it's not a good kill. But I do take out this trade alliance person. Gaining some notoriety in the process. This is good. This helps me find leads. The plant, People on the planet are now going to be afraid of me. That's what I'm going for. I need them to be scared of me. Alright, so... That's it. That exploration was, um, you know, a little bit more contentious than maybe I thought it would be. But these things just happen. Uh, when somebody mouths off at your ship and you mouth off back at them. So let's get back to the hunt. That was an exploration, so I'm wandering around. I help out these people. I go back towards my ship. I see this trade alliance person. Gotta deal with them. <clears throat> and now we go to a destination. So I keep carrying on. Uh, Alright. I arrive in a small outpost or enclave run by the minor faction. The trade alliance. <laughs> Ugh. Well, I've made them my enemies. Uh, choose one. Search for anyone who might know your target to get one, gain one favor. Speak with a local who works here, then get, uh, then rest to gain one motivation. I've got two motivation. I only have one favor. I guess I'm going to just pretend and talk to these people as if I didn't just murder one of them out near my ship. So I kind of walk up. Trade Alliance friends, my oldest friends. I love trade. I love to bargain and barter. Let me in. Right. I search for anyone who might know your target to gain one favor. 
Uh, yeah, so I think I, you know, I'm not actually doing the speak action because the, the speak action is a specific word and search isn't an action. So this is just like, I'm hanging out, I'm talking with people, just kind of getting a sense of like, do they have any idea about who might be out there, like where my target might be. This, the Trade Alliance has nothing, as far as I know, nothing to do with my target. Although I am now starting to create the headcanon in my my head that they absolutely do. <laughs> um, and that they are, they are bastards. And I need to, I need to eliminate that probably. All right, so I've been hanging out at the Enclave, talk, chatting these people up. I don't think I stay very long because I don't think I can keep my cool knowing that I've killed one of them already. So I'm going to be like, hey, thanks, folks. I got to go back out there and I kind of just slowly, awkwardly walk out of the place, never taking my eyes off of them uh, because the Trade Alliance is not to be trusted. And so we go back into exploring, exploring the world. If your notoriety is three or higher, it's not. It's close. It's two. So we're going to continue exploring, trying to find opportunities to, to get more notoriety. So here's the event. You discover one of your assets. Ooh, an asset. Thrown from a moving vehicle and severely injured. It's no accident that you found them. My poor asset. Assets are like, people, like companions, essentially, that can help you out with things. So... One of the actions that you can do in this game is recruit and gain assets. Uh, and assets are, they give you nice little bonuses on stuff like future actions and things like that. So, somebody here on the planet that I know who's an asset just got dumped out of a car. Uh, and they're really messed up. Alright, I can try to speak with them to comfort them and gain one motivation. What threatening message has been scrawled on their back? Oof. Or, ah, it's this. I have no assets. I can try to recruit this person. That's what I'm going to try and do. So I don't actually have any assets right now. I haven't gained any. So this is my chance to get an asset. Um, so I'm going to try and recruit this individual. Um, so I got to roll. I got to roll for all this stuff. So when I roll, I add half of my favor rounded up. So I've got two favor, so I'm going to add one to my roll. Uh, and they are going to... Oh, sometimes the prop says that I automatically succeed. I do not. I've got to, I got to earn this. All right, so I'm going to add one to my roll. Challenge die first. It's a six. Yikes. Uh, I got a four. Adding one makes a five, uh, which means they aren't interested in helping me at all. I can try to recruit them again if I encounter them later in the story, but for now, I think this person, I try to recruit them, I like flip them over to like check on them, they're just unconscious, and I can't stay out here in the cold trying to like wake them up, um, so this is just a, a, a knocked out body right now, and I look at them and I go, ah, I don't have time, I simply don't have time, now I don't like abandon them in the snow, I think I like set them aside so that I, I could potentially find them in the future but yeah i think with getting a six on this challenge rating i think this person is just the reason they're on un, they're uninterested is because they're unconscious they're just not in it that's fair let us go to a destination then. i arrive at a small spaceport on this frigid hellscape run by the challenging faction ah the old empire so they have a small spaceport here i roll up on it resolve all Gain one notoriety. Amazing. I have three notoriety now. If it's five or higher, a hostile guard approaches. Nope. It's not. It's not. Uh, then the environment here has become more dangerous than usual. The locals gesture to seek, uh, gesture at you to seek shelter immediately. I don't want to hang out with these old empire goons. Do I help them battle the elements? It does help me gain notoriety. Or do I ignore them and make my own sh There's so many things I'm doing here at this place. Because you have to resolve all of these. I mean, I am going to help them. I'm going to help them because 
I'm a pro gamer, and a pro gamer knows that you max out on notoriety when you're playing Notorious. I'm speed running this. So, yeah, I'm gonna help them. I'll help the locals out, battle the elements. I just did this for the multi-eyed people. So I have, like, I go, oh, this again. And the, um... I think it's different, though. I think what the, um... I think what the old Empire needs, because this is a spaceport, right? I think they've got ships that are still kind of, like, scheduled to come on and off uh, the spaceport, and there's kind of this massive snowstorm that's coming through. Um... On our planet, the frog planet, we fly in the rain all the time. It's not hard for us. Um, we have, we kind of have just instinct on when you can find these sort of like pockets of opportunity in, in rainstorms. And what is a snowstorm, but just a very slow rainstorm. This is easy. This is easy for uh, a professional frog pilot like me. So... I come in, I kind of help guide one or two ships through the process, give them some some insight on how to help them. I do lose a favor because I'm helping the baddies, but my notoriety is up to four now, which means I'm going to start finding some leads pretty dang soon. Um, and then, <laughs> after I've helped them with all this, I enter a bar. So I go to the local spaceport bar and immediately bump into another nomad. Ooh, another bounty hunter. This isn't the first time you've encountered them. They catch your eye, nod, then go their own way. Gain one favor. Where did you and several other nomads gather to accept your current contract? So this person is interesting. So I have to gain a favor. So there were a lot of us now, is it a lot of us that are on the same contract? Or do we all just happen to go to, like, the same place to pick up gear? Oh, this is the wrong tab. To get the, like, to pick up our contracts, and I just happen to see this person there. I think this person is, I think we all got the same job. I think we got the all I think we all got the same job and I think it has it's a totally different faction. What are the other factions? It's not the Mystic Order. I'm not working for the Mystic Order. Um What are my other options for factions here? There's the Old Empire, New Uprising, the Targ Cartel. I think that's who it is. I think we all meet on the Targ Cartel skiff. A smuggling ring run by a family of gluttonous targs, slug-like species. We got our huts, right? The cartel favors employing nomads for all their dirty work. I mean, yeah, absolutely. And I and clearly they would hire somebody like me who's not a very nice nomad. And I think this person also. I think we we all went and got hired by the targ cartel to figure out this person's deal. Uh, so I, I, I remember them from the skiff. Okay. Okay. Well, that's that destination. We explore again now. Oh, if your notary is five or higher, it's not. It's four. I thought I was going to hit it. All right. Otherwise, you catch the attention of a hover bike gang in this weather. On this frozen wasteland? This is very irresponsible. Who ride up at speed and swiftly encircle you. My friends, I am just here to find a bird. Have you seen a nervous bird walking around? Their leader is hostile and fights in melee. What tall tales did the gang spread about your encounter? All right, well, we'll figure out what their tall tale is once we figure out the hostile, how I deal with the hostile person. I'm going to try to talk to them first i would rather not fight them if i don't have to i don't i have no like beef with the random hover bike gang um so when somebody is hostile the two actions that are available to you are threatening and attacking i will try to threaten them um it does mean that if my threatening doesn't work that they're gonna get a nice big old advantage when we have to fight each other but i'm gonna try and threaten them 
Um, and we'll see how that goes. All right, let's roll the challenge die first. They get a three. I get to add half my notoriety, which is four divided in half is two. So I get to add two to my roll. So, wow, I rolled a one. <laughs> Damn it. I rolled a one. I thought I was real scary. So I, I, what I think I do is I show them like my Targ cartel. Like I've got like a Targ cartel badge that I kind of like show off the flap of one of my kind of like my regular clothes that I'm walking. I guess I have like a snow coat on right now because it's a frozen planet. I flash them the Targ cartel badge thinking it's going to be super spooky. Uh, and it is not nearly as spooky as I thought it was, which means this person is going to fight me now. <laughs> um, when you fail, they fight you, and they add one to the challenge die. So, I add one to the challenge die, plus I add their attack value. So they have plus two attack. So this person gets a six, plus two, plus one. They have a nine. Uh, I am in melee combat with them. I've got my concealed blade, which is... <laughs> my tongue knife uh my opponent has minus one defense so i just cancel out their defense then i have plus three to my attack they have a nine i literally can't beat them i get a four plus three makes seven hey mr square peg good to see you so i i fail i fail this fight uh if you fail an attack after exhausting defense and motivation oh wait what can i do with motivation I can re-roll things with motivation. Can I re-roll their dice? I think I can re-roll their dice. I can spend to re-roll a single die, either the nomad, oh yeah, okay. I'm gonna spend in motivation and re-roll their die. Great, they got a one. They lose now. <laughs> Excellent. That's what my motivation is for. Uh, all right, so I spend a motivation. Well, what I there, we see the timeline where I get my ass kicked by this hover bike gang, but that's not the timeline we go. And that one diverts this way. We stay on this timeline, where the hover bike gang leader comes at me. Can't possibly expect a knife to come out of my mouth from my frog tongue, and I just get it. It's just like it's a real fast sort of thing. I'm not here to like have a protracted fight against this fool. I'm just here to down them and get them over with. Um, so I take out this this ganger. The rest of the gang gets the hell out of there. What tall tale did they spread about your encounter? It's not sanitary at all. I'm a gross, gross frog man. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not good. <laughs> um, what tall tale do they spread? Um, I think, I mean, obviously they want to make themselves out to be better than this fight would look like where they just got got in one hit, right? So I think, I think actually what they, they tell the tale that, well, my, I think I did a really elegant kill. I think they spread the tale that I'm like this really dirty fighter and I kind of am, but like that I was, uh, that like I agreed to a certain sort of like set of fights like their gang leader was this had this like proposal of a fight I didn't abide by it at all I cheated uh, I used a gun when it was supposed to be a knife fight and now everybody knows that I am a, a notorious bastard on this ice planet all right well off to a destination now all right, I'm off to a bustling market or traveling scrap crawler run by locals. I definitely like the idea of a traveling scrap crawler in the icy wasteland rather than a bustling market. So we get the Jawa sort of thing. Just moving its way through the snow. They see me walking around and they stop and let me come hang out. Choose one. I can speak with a local, then rest and barter for supplies. I can get some motivation. Now that I know what this is for, I might do that. Or, I see an unaffiliated mercenary or rebellious civilian being intimidated by a hostile soldier. Ah, oh, goddammit, am I going to fight somebody again? 
Something about the scene sets off your trigger and you walk away. What building or statue were you deface were they defacing and what did the graffiti depict? Hmm. Well, I don't really see this idea of like a building or statue being defaced because it's a crawler. I think I, I think I'm just gonna hang out below. I want to speak. I haven't done the speak action yet, so I'm gonna try that. All right. Uh, nomads don't always shoot first. I can I can speak sometimes, so I get to add half my favor. So I get to add one to my roll. Uh. And then I barter or uh, rest and for supplies. Uh, but the the speak action is is uh, just an opportunity to get a little backstory going. So um, let's see let's see how this goes. They got a two. I got a five plus one. So this is a success. They talk, revealing interesting, even useful information. Roll on the relevant table uh, to. Do I have a? No, I don't have. Do I have a generator for this? I thought there might have been. There isn't. Okay. Um, so, when I'm speaking with locals, I roll a d6. Let's see how it goes. This local, I roll a 1. They hate the war and dream of its end. What small comfort can, be, uh, can they no longer find, and how does it drive their actions? I wish this war would end so we could go back to how things were. So these people are on, like, a junk, junk scrapper, right? They're... they're trawling around in the icy wasteland um what small comfort can they no longer find because of the war i think it's definitely the trade alliance's fault that they don't have access to something right like the the war against the like the rebellion and the empire that's that's old hat that's been going on i think they don't have access to something that the trade alliance is is kind of messing with um but it's just like a small comfort right so it's just like some access to some small little nicety that would make being a junk crawler more palatable um i think there was maybe like a network that they could like scan junk that they found and kind of like immediately ping it to nearby planets to let people know like hey this is here it's like a marketplace like an online marketplace they can't do that anymore trade alliances block that shit they're not allowed to do that's i guess that's not really a small comfort but it's now they have to just sell the locals and you've seen the locals they're the biker gangs they're not nice so they've lost access to our their facebook marketplace that's the small comfort that they've lost all right i've chatted with the locals i get to gain one motivation which will help me re-roll and now we explore again. Nothing eventful happens. Damn it. It's really helping to find a lead. Gain one motivation. We got a lot of motivation. Motivation for days. Um, nothing eventful happens. Gain one motivation. What destruction do you see caused by the intergalactic war? Um... I think as I'm exploring, I see, I think I see another one of these trawlers, but I think that it has been absolutely destroyed, right? And I think the, I'm, I'm a little confused as to why the, the other people didn't tell me about it. I think maybe either it was, it's a sore subject or they, they don't trust me enough to tell me about like the destruction of fellow junkers. Um, but I think I see one of these things and it's just been absolutely like intentionally obliterated. I think this is not like a blast radius thing. I think somebody sought and destroyed this thing. You know, it's the old empire. The old empire did that for sure. Bastards. All right. As I'm walking around and I see the sad sight, I arrive at a small outpost on by the trade alliance again. Hey everybody, I'm back. Search for anybody who might know my target and gain a favor or speak with a local uh, and get motivation. I have a lot of motivation already. I'm going to I'm going to do the favor thing. So I search for anyone who might know your target. Again, I'm talking to these trade alliance people, really not trying to give too many details away. So I think the reason I'm not getting any like notoriety or getting any leads here is because I'm not revealing a lot to the trade alliance. I think when I'm talking to them, 
I'm alluding to a bird. I'm not talking about specifically this bird. What is this bird's name again? Besk Fimaz. I don't me mention Besk's name. I don't mention that Besk is... I'm not looking for an engineer. I'm just looking for a bird. And there's still, like, a lot of birds on this planet. So, it's not particularly helpful to them. Um... And then I peace out. Because, again, I have no interest in being around these Trade Alliance goons. Now we did it. We found a lead. If your notoriety is four or higher, you encounter a lead. And I've got a generator for that. Or I should say Jason made a generator for that. I'm going to randomize it. Juffy. Juffy is a bear. I found a bear. <laughs> Juffy. Uh, where is my... Where do I put my... People? My leads. Is it obvious that I'm just missing it? I've encountered one lead so far. Maybe I don't need to write Juffy's name. Um... Juffy is a Charon. A.K.A. a bear. A baron. Juffy... Juffy is focused. Choose one to answer. What is this bear... What weakness are they trying to hide from me? Or what potent item is the source of their confidence? The bear. A focused bear that's hanging out that is a lead on my target. Interesting. I think they've got to... I think they've... I think Juffy has an item. Something that is the source of their confidence. They have... They've got something that is... That is good. this bear doing here right i think they've got um i think they've you know how i've got like the targ cartel badge i think they've got an old empire badge which even though they're the minor like not the minor but like the challenging faction here you still don't mess with the empire i think this person has like empire insignia on them which is gives them a great degree of confidence also makes me not like um okay let me see what happens when you run into a lead because i, I want to make sure that i do this correctly before you finish the job you need to find a few leads um as soon as your notoriety hits three or more you might be prompted to create a lead we've hit that to create a lead first roll down for a sh roll for a showdown to establish the location where i encounter them so i'm encountering them juffy the bear in the ruins of a gigantic crashed starship searching for something. So, Juffy the Bear, who works for the Empire, or at least has an Empire Imperial badge. The temperature is rapidly becoming dangerously high or freezing cold. It's getting cold, obviously. We're on the, the frozen planet. So, I'm, I go into this ruins just simply to get shelter, because it's getting cold out there. And then I see this Imperial Bear looking for stuff in this this heap and i'm not having that we've got their species and their personality um and then we've rolled on the leads table to determine who they are they're a dangerous accomplice of the target from the challenging faction hey i was right the empire <laughs> um Accomplice of your target from the... Yeah, so it's an Imperial agent that is a fan of the bird. Uh, a friend of the bird. How have they gained a reputation as a particularly brutal fire? I mean, they're a bear. <laughs> How do they gain a reputation? By being a bear. A bear is terrifying. Um, so... That's, that's how they did it. I think also the, the Empire has given them sick metal claws. At first in my head, I was kind of imagining this person is a fake. They're not really Imperial. They just stole Imperial stuff. I think this is an Imperial bear now that has been grafted with metal claws. And they're just horrible. Um, all right. So I'm going to speak with them. Uh, and then I have to fight them as well. So I am going to speak first just to see how the... The speaking goes. Uh, and just to quickly remind myself, when I speak, I'm adding half of my favor. Uh, round it up. 
A bear with wolverine claws, exactly, right? All right, the uh, Juffy gets a two. Juffy wants to talk at first, because uh, I get a six, so I super talk to this bear. Um, I roll on this table to see what the outcome is from speaking to the bear. A one. Your target's actions were driven by revenge. Okay, that's good to know. Driven by revenge. Thank you, Jeffy the Bear, for telling me that. Uh, what terrible act did they witness that drove them to exact retribution? That's interesting. So, they decided to engineer a weapon for the Empire to get revenge on somebody. Um, I don't think they're trying to get revenge on the New Republic because they wouldn't come to a New Republic planet to do that. That would be... I think because they're a nervous person. So I think they're trying to get revenge. I think one of the other factions. I think probably the Trade Alliance, which is why the Trade Alliance is looking for them. They saw the, the Trade Alliance kind of commit sort of a... The Trade Alliance, I feel, doesn't do a lot of like strong military sort of stuff. But I think when they do act, they do it with sort of this cold calculation. I think they just saw like the elimination of an entire city of birds when the trade alliance came in don't try and tell me you wouldn't have done the same interesting i don't believe you juffy and now i have to fight a bear now i'm fighting the bear um so juffy the bear attacks me in melee they have plus three attack and one defense so let's see how they do they get a five Plus three, so they have an eight. Let me remind myself what defense does. Um, your opponent might also have defense. Each point of defense allows a successful attack to be blocked before you avoid... Great. Well, they have plus one defense, but my melee attack, <laughs> my frog ton, minus one defense. So I immediately counter this bear's defense mechanism. I also have a plus three on attack. Let's see how my attack goes. I got a six. Nine beats eight most of the time. I'm sorry, Jeffy the Bear, but I have to kill you. Choose the opponent's fate. Spare, and I gain favor, or kill, and I gain notoriety. I mean, I'm gonna I'm gonna kill this bear. Obviously, I killed the bear, right? I killed the trade alliance person for sassing off to my ship. You think I'm not gonna kill the imperial bear that attacked me? After I had a chat with it, I kill this bear. Um, which is really a shame. It's a shame that the bear drove me to do this, but I do kill it, and I gain notoriety. I'm extremely notorious on this planet by showing up and just killing a lot of people. Uh, Alright, that was an exploration. So, after resolving that... I now move to a different destination. So the storm kind of passes and I continue my journey. I think this time I'm going into a bustling market rather than a trap, a scrap crawler. Uh, I can speak to a local and get some motivation or a, lar a large group of soldiers from the controlling faction, the, the friendlies, the rebels are here. There's no way to avoid catching their attention. Your nomads guild license holds up to inspection. Move along. Why are they checking everyone's ID? Um, interesting. I think, yeah, I don't think I'm looking for motivation right now. I think, I think I'm like, I'm, I'm just trying to get patched up after fighting the bear. Like I got like some surface wounds and so I'm not doing this necessarily. I'm, I'm walking around looking for the right vendor for that sort of thing. And I think the new Republic is, is aware that there's kind of, some ongoing violence going on and with the trade alliances movements up in the sky they're a w they're worried about nomad guild stuff so why are they checking everybody they're checking everybody because the trade alliance did like a quick little test of the new republic's defenses and like that was that first ship that went down and so naturally they're going to be suspicious of any nomad that goes through because we might be working with the trade alliance I'm not, but I could be. 
If my notoriety is five or higher, you better believe it is. It's lead time. It's time to find another lead. Not Juffy the Bear, but Naki Kosh. Electonk, an um, insectoid species. Great. All right. A fly man. Fly, a fly being. They are focused. Ah, I got focused again. What weakness are they trying to hide from others? What potent item is the source of their confidence? Well, first let's read the showdown because we're supposed to actually do the showdown first. So I catch up to this bug man uh, at their starship just as they're preparing to board and leave. So this, I see this bug man getting on his bug plane trying to get out of here. Um, and as they're trying to leave, that trade alliance fight that's going on in the sky breaks out, bombards the air with debris and stray laser fire. So we're... We're kind of like in a in a shaky situation right now. Um, they are from the controlling faction. So this is a New Republic fly. You see them talking with a holographic image of your target. Hey, why are you talking to that bird? What do you overhear them saying that reminds you of your trigger? Oh, what is my trigger again? I missed the crucial shot when the sniper shot when my loved one needed me. Wow. What is this person doing talking about? I mean, I don't think they're overtly talking about that event. I think they're talking about something like that. That maybe. I think, you know, because part of it is, is a loved one was relying on me. So I think this is more so that they're talking about how. I think the bug person is being berated by the target. The target was relying on this person and that they, they dropped the ball and that this person is now, the bug person is just fleeing and they're leaving the target high and dry, uh, like when they needed them most. And I think that's what's reminding me of like, just really dropping the ball when somebody needs you. So this, this is a, I mean, this is supposed to be a good person, this fly. They're supposed to have helped. They're a new Republic person. And they did it. They failed. And I'm not happy about that. But I will speak to them. Alright, I'm going to speak to them. They get a 1. I get a 4. I chat up this fly. Let's roll and see what the fly has to say for themselves. A faction is ruthlessly covering up your target's actions. What happened to the last person who revealed too much information? The trade alliance, right? I think the trade alliance is hiding this. Even though this this bird works for the old empire, I don't think the old empire is even aware that this bird is here. It's the trade alliance who are. And the trade alliance are just, that's what's happening. They're just, they, what we thought was them like probing the defense mechanisms of the new Republic, it's not. They are eliminating people who are aware of what this bird is all about because they want the bird. Bird's an engineer, right? An incredible engineer. Um, and they're just taking people out who might know. Which is why I think... I don't think this is a stray fire that's going down. I think this is the trade alliance trying to take out this fly. Unfortunately, I will take out the fly instead. Alright, so the fly attacks me after, after chatting with them. Oh, they do say something. Talking to you would only make things worse for me. I'm sorry, Naki Kosh. But we have to fight now. They fight with mystic powers, though. Mystic powers in your defense mean nothing against my tongue knife. <laughs> Which is apparently highly effective at negating defense. So, uh, I'll roll their attack. They get a 5. So they get an 8. I get 2. Plus 3 for my weapon. Makes 5. I'm going to use one of my motivation to re-roll their die. They got a six. Can I do that multiple times? Can I just keep doing that because I don't know. Or maybe I should save my motivation for one motivation. You can do this as many times as you want. Eh. No, I think I'm gonna lose to the fly. I don't think I'm interested in like killing this fly necessarily. So I use it once. It doesn't work. The fly defeats me 
with mystic power, so it's a Jedi fly. If you fail an attack after exa exhausting defense and motivation, it's time to roll for your fate. Oh my god. I didn't realize this could be my end. Uh, Alright, here we go. I get a four. Local law enforcement somehow interrupt the fight just as your opponent prepares to deliver a decisive blow. So they're... The New Republic cops show up. And they save me from this Jedi. This fly Jedi. Uh, and they, this, this fly escapes. But I lose one notoriety. People know that I'm a softie. That I can be beaten by a fly. Well, that makes me sad. But I was beaten by a Jedi, so I don't feel as bad. Okay. I have now encountered two leads, which means the next time I encounter a lead, it's actually my target. So I, I, I get out of there. I move on to a fortified base or palace run by the, yeah, I go to, so I go to a fortified base run by the New Republic, right? It's the controlling faction. Probably after having talked with the law enforcement people after they broke up the fight. Gain one notoriety. If it's four or higher, a hostile... Damn it! Alright, well, it is four or higher. Hostile guard approaches. Alright, they're hostile. I can talk to them. I can threaten them. Or, you know, I can threaten them or I can attack them outright. I am hoping to talk to them. I don't want to... I have no beef with the New Republic. I don't want to fight them necessarily. So, I will... I will threaten this this annoying soldier to leave me alone um they got a one excellent i got a three adding half my notoriety which means i super super threaten this person um they back down they are no longer in an immediate threat roll on the threat neutralized table Ooh. i've actually never succeeded at threatening somebody before so let's see how it goes i get a two they, they walk away, muttering about their disdain for nomads. What aspect of bounty hunting do they disagree with and why? I mean, they're, they're a soldier, so I think they're not... They don't think that bounty hunting is a noble pursuit at all, right? They This is a classically trained, like, polished boot New Republic soldier. Um, like, trying to... I've clearly been bullied by the soldiers on this, this planet already. They don't like me. Um, so I think they just have a total disdain for the entire profession of nomading, of being a bounty hunter. Which, you know, fine. I don't need your approval. Alright, then. I find myself being jostled by a growing crowd of locals. What are we all hanging out at the base for? We're all trying to catch a glimpse of something nearby. You're, you, uh, you're stuck watching a long convoy for the leader uh, of the controlling faction. Oh, New Republic leader at the base. Lose one motivation. I need that for my fight. How does the crowd react to their presence? I think everyone's very excited about seeing this person, right? The leader of the controlling faction? At, well, I guess probably not excited. This is a base, right? So actually, I don't think they're reaction i don't think they virtually don't react right these are rebel soldiers kind of like not at like attention but like they're behaving themselves because i think the i'm guessing that the controlling faction leader at this point now that there's sort of a, a war going on on this planet is probably like a high up officer um and so i think they don't re react in terms of excitement they react in like okay boss is here what's gonna happen and then a monster is loose uh and the locals are struggling to contain it wow a random monster uh it's unusual to see these creatures in populated areas choose one attack and subdue the monster to gain one notoriety i already have five i can't possibly need more notoriety simply watch the chaos unfold to gain one favor absolutely i'm gonna do that I'm not, I'm not interested in helping these people. After like showing up to the base and getting hassled, and then getting like tied up by the 
the commanding officer and their like military parade. I'm gonna let this monster kind of just have some fun in their base. Um, where has this monster come from and what has enraged it? I think, you know, like it says, it's not from around this area. It is, this is the trade alliance all over again, right? Trade alliance, they're gonna naturally have access to all sorts of goods. And I think part of that is is the transportation of like, especially dangerous monsters and things like that. And so I think this monster, not a part of this planet at all, what's enraged it is that it's like, it's scared, right? I think this monster has never seen snow before. It's never seen cold before. And it feels horrible to be cold. Cold is a painful thing. And I think it is angry about that. Uh, and it's gonna take it out on all of these soldiers. So I think like one of the cargo containers in the base, which had been delivered by the Trade Alliance, bursts open and this beast comes out. And I go, oof, that looks like it's rough. Anyway, I gotta get out of here. You all have a good rest of your day. And I go exploring. We hit the final thing. We did it. If your notoriety is four or higher, I encounter a lead. This is the third lead, which means it is time to find my target. So let me go to the target page. Um, okay, the third time that you cr uh, create a lead, you create the target instead. So there is a target generator. All right. Target generator. Oh, wait, I already generated my target. Why did I do that? Obviously, I know what they are. So I need, um, here's my showdown. Excellent. I already know what my target is. It's the bird. It's the nervous bird. Um, roll for the showdown to establish where it happens. So where am I going to finally find this nervous bird? I track them into a densely packed forest, rock formation, or junkyard. Um... I'm gonna go with junkyard. I've, I've, I've already kind of like hung out with the junk, junk crawlers. So I think I'm like, and I learned a little bit from them. So I'm going back. I'm hoping to find some more of them to chat them up. And as I'm going through, it only makes sense actually for this engineer to be in a junkyard too, right? They're looking for stuff. This nervous bird is looking through the junkyard trying to find something. It's nighttime and you're both lit only by the moons or artificial lights. I think it's the moons. It's definitely the moons in the sky. Target. They're revealed as the first lead you encountered. The bear? <laughs> the bear? Juffy the bear? Your original target was a deco decoy or may not even exist. But I killed the bear. Ah, if you thought you had killed them, okay. <laughs> so, I thought I was looking for a bird. <laughs> I thought I was looking for a bird, a nervous bird. And what I actually found is an imperial bear that had already been cybernetically modified. And now it's been further modified and I have to kill, fight this bear again. Um, but first, I need to talk to them. I need to talk to the bear. So, they get a three. I get a three, but I get to add half my favor, I think, or my motivation. Either way, I'm gonna I'm gonna succeed in speaking. So what does that mean for us when you speak to the target? It's a different table here. Uh, I'm gonna roll. Five. Your target zealously pursued their goals no matter the cost. I mean, that makes sense. This is a, a war bear. What collateral damage have they chosen to ignore? All of it. All of it. This bear is, I think it's, a, this says it's, it was a small price to pay. I think this bear sucks. I think this bear sucks, right? They, they engineered a super weapon for the empire and they didn't care at all uh, the, the lives that were taken. I think, in fact, I think they used their own planet as like 
a testing ground for a lot of these weapons because they knew the bears were like a hardy species. And they're like, if you want to know if this thing's effective, let's use this thing against the bears. Um, so I think they turned against their own people in the name of science of their super weapon. And this bear sucks. So that's what they tell me. Then they attack me with an extra plus one attack. They attack me as they had before. All right. Uh, if you thought you had killed them last time, they instead have cybernetic parts and an extra plus one defense. Uh, so now they actually have defense. So I'm gonna have to take them. I'm gonna have to take them down twice because they had plus one defense last time that I negated. So let's see what the bear's attack is. They got a six. I'm using my motivation right away. My last one to reroll their six. They got five. Oof. Um. Yikes. I got a three, which is not enough to keep up with their bonus. I, I, I wait. I have defense. I forgot that I have defense. Don't I? I have plus two defense against a leader or a target. I shouldn't have lost to that fly. I should have killed that fly. Oh well. Okay. So the bear wins the first round against me. I have minus one defense right now. Um, we go again. The bear gets a three. I get a one. The bear takes out my second defense. It's not looking so good. This murder bear is going to murder me. Uh, they roll and get a four. I get a six. That with my additions is going to beat theirs. So I get past their first defense, which is their only defense. It is on the killing blow now. The bear gets these two big swings. It comes barreling at me, right? Just slicing and dicing. It's furious of what I did to it before. I kind of get my, my ground. I take out some of its armor. And then we face each other one last time. The bear gets... A four. I get a four. I have plus three. It has plus one extra as it attacked me before. Oh boy. I don't remember. I didn't write down what its attack was from before. Oh no. I think it had a plus two. Even if it had a plus two or a plus three, it's... It, it beats me because it's a tie at best. <laughs> um, so I lose. I lose to the bear. The bear defeats me in combat. What happens when I lose to my, my opponent? So I know I have like the loss rule that I have to make, but... I feel like if you manage to beat them, uh, I don't manage to defeat, to defeat them. I fail. I failed to defeat this particular person. They, this bear is me. Um, all right. <laughs> I, I get, I get got by the bear. Uh, let's see what happens. I got a two. Choose whether to die and end the game <laughs> or get beaten up, leading to an injury or some damage to your equipment. Wow. I think I'm dying. I think this bear is going to kill me. <laughs> I think that only makes sense. I think I was way out of my comfort zone on this mission, right? I thought I was hunting down a bird, like an engineer. It was going to be really easy. The Targ cartel... And I didn't even think twice as to why the car the Targ cartel had hired so many bounty hunters for this, this engineer. I didn't think about it. But it's because it wasn't for an engineer. It was for a murder bear that was an engineer. But it just wasn't a nervous bird. Um, and yeah, I got, I got cocky.
and I had taken down this bear once before, and it it gets me. I think like there's this moment where I try to like I I I, I create a gap. I try to get my rifle out to take the shot. I get nervous in that moment. I miss, and it just plunges its metal claws into my poor frog body, and I die. <laughs> I died! But that was awesome. That was very fun. So that's Notorious. Um, it's super fun. This is really, really cool. It's awesome that Jason has these generators so that you can play it really easily online. It'd also be really easy to play in person. Like, I got the big, uh, you know, pad of uh, can, uh, character sheets so that I can play it again and again or give it to somebody and have them play it. Uh, this was a this was a great time. I hope you enjoyed watching this. Uh, I hope this <laughs> you got to see the story of Capper Vril, the frog bounty hunter that got in way over his head. Um, if you enjoyed it, the there will be links to all the games for you to watch this in the VOD later on. And uh, yeah, that's it. Thanks, everyone. <laughs>